In this final installment of our adjective series, we'll explore some advanced concepts and nuances that will elevate your English skills to new heights. Let's jump right in. Compound adjectives. Compound adjectives are formed when two or more words are combined to modify a noun. They are often hyphenated to avoid confusion and maintain clarity. These descriptive powerhouses can add precision and creativity to your language. Compound adjectives can be formed using various combinations, such as adjective plus noun, like a long-term plan or a high-quality product. Adjective plus past participle, like a well-written essay or a badly behaved child. Noun plus past participle, like a government-owned building or a student-led initiative. The hyphen is essential to convey the intended meaning. For example, a little-known fact means not well-known, while a little-known fact means a small fact that is known. A three-year-old child refers to age, while a three-year-old child means a child that is three years old. Practice forming and using compound adjectives to add precision and creativity to your language. Instead of saying, a cake that is easy to make, you can use the compound adjective, an easy-to-make cake. Other common compound adjectives include well-known, part-time, and user-friendly. A man-eating shark is quite different from a man-eating shark. Adjectives with prepositions and infinitives. In the previous lesson, we touched on adjectives followed by prepositions or infinitives. Let's explore a few more common combinations to expand your expressive repertoire. Some adjectives are commonly followed by prepositions, such as I'm worried about the upcoming exam. This expresses concern. I'm grateful for your support. This expresses gratitude. They're disappointed with the service. This expresses dissatisfaction. They're compatible with our system. This indicates suitability or harmony. Other adjectives are often followed by infinitives, for example, She's certain to win the competition. This expresses certainty. He's hesitant to make a decision. This expresses reluctance. She's eager to learn new skills. This expresses enthusiasm. It's crucial to follow the instructions. This emphasizes importance. Other notable combinations include proud of, suitable for, tired of, likely to, and essential to. Familiarizing yourself with these patterns will help you communicate more fluently and precisely. Practice using them in various contexts to reinforce your understanding. Adjectives in idiomatic expressions. Idioms are expressions that have a figurative meaning different from the literal interpretation of the words. Many idiomatic expressions contain adjectives that contribute to the overall meaning. Here are some examples. She's as cool as a cucumber. This means calm and composed. He's a big shot in the company. This means an important or influential person. They're green with envy. This means very envious or jealous. A white lie refers to a harmless lie told to avoid hurting someone's feelings. A black sheep is a member of a group who is considered different or disreputable. A red herring is a piece of information that is misleading or irrelevant. Understanding and using idiomatic expressions with adjectives will add color and depth to your language, making you sound more natural and native-like. Pay attention to context and practice using these expressions in appropriate situations. Practice and application. To solidify your understanding of adjectives, 
it's essential to practice using them in various contexts. Challenge yourself to incorporate new adjectives into your daily conversations and writing. Pay attention to how native speakers use adjectives in movies, books, and podcasts, and try to emulate their patterns. Here are some practice tips and resources. 1. Keep a journal or vocabulary notebook to jot down new adjectives encountered in reading or listening. 2. Use online thesaurus tools to find synonyms for common adjectives and expand your vocabulary. 3. Participate in language exchange programs or conversation groups to practice using adjectives in real-life contexts. 4. Engage in creative writing exercises, such as descriptive essays or character profiles, to hone your use of adjectives. Instead of always using basic adjectives like good, bad, or nice, expand your vocabulary with more descriptive alternatives like exceptional, subpar, or delightful. This will make your language more engaging and precise. Remember, mastering adjectives is an ongoing process, so be patient with yourself and celebrate your progress along the way. Language stop.